Listen, today I'm bringing the sauce, all right, family? And in this video, we're gonna discuss your passions and your talents, all right? Because you guys have a plethora of them, but many of you guys are not tapping into it. And this could be a huge reason why you feel stuck, don't know your purpose, and you're not sure where you are going in life, guys, all right? Man, happy Monday. Welcome back to the channel of Expressed Words. My name is Kevin. I hope you all are having a wonderful start to your week. I hope you guys are having a blessed day today. Remember to keep on keeping on, family. Keep pushing your needle forward no matter what man you guys do not quit guys you guys do not quit all right now listen if my voice sounds a little raspy all right if i sound a little different or right, i feel like i'm losing my voice a little bit um and that's just because i was coaching all weekend long basketball uh soccer everything like that so i have been extremely busy and i am extremely tired like i'm i'm tired like my body feels tired but i'm pumped up right now for this video it feels good to be back with you family i hope everybody's just doing well all right so let's go ahead and get right down to it all right now talking about your talents talking about your passions things that you love now i've mentioned this in a video to you guys before all right my tpp method all right make sure you follow it write it down and implement this into your life right because if you want to get better if you want to actually reach the next level of your life and do things that's bigger than what you're doing currently right now in your life all right you guys have to tap into your passions you have to tap into your talents okay god did not bless you with the talents that you have for you to not use them you have those talents for a reason i have always been talented at writing right and now i'm a published author I have always been talented at speaking and being able to communicate with other people. And now I have this YouTube channel and my business going and I'm talking to people across the world. Okay, so tap into your passions and tap into your talents. Now, here's one thing that I want you to remember along your spiritual journey as you go through your spiritual awakening and you're going to begin to see how these things happen. Okay, because remember the people that come along your path. All right. The demonic ones, the people that don't want to see you become successful, the people that, uh, you know, they just want to see you fail. They're always putting you down. Now, remember, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Right. Everybody remembers that. But growing up as a child, those words hurt. All right. Come on now. I know somebody hears me. Those words hurt. And as a child, man, I my voice sounds terrible. <laughs> but y'all stick with me. Y'all stick with me. All right. Um, but yeah, those words hurt, you know, growing up as a child when you hear stuff like that. And it doesn't make you want to pursue. It doesn't want to make you continue to move forward. Now, we talk about people now that's in the 1% because they have what it takes. Right. No matter what anybody else said. OK, the fear, the doubt. All right, the, the uh, being shamed, being put down, being called stupid and dumb and all these different names and everything, they did not let those words affect them. They followed their talents and they followed their passions and they continued to lean on them and trust in their vision and trust uh, the process and where they're going in their life, all right? Now, how many of you guys, be honest with yourself. I want you to be completely honest with yourself right now, all right? You drop it down below in the comment section. All right, because I know this has happened. It's happened to me. How many times or how much time have you wasted right in life because somebody told you that you were not able to do something? You weren't smart enough. You, you know, just that you're not capable of committing um, or just that you're not capable of being able to handle that or being able to do that. Now, what I want you to be honest about is that you let it affect you. All right. And so much time has just gone by. You just let it completely affect you. And you put those talents and those passions in the closet. All right. And you never touched them again because you were living in doubt based off of what somebody else told you. And here's the thing. A lot of you guys probably didn't step into your purpose, didn't realize what your purpose is because you put that purpose in the closet. Right. You, you hung it up based off of what somebody else said. You got to remember, man, the enemy, OK, will do anything to get up here in your mind to distract you, to make sure that you go down this path rather than going down that path. Right. Makes you want to go in a completely different direction. You end up going down this this path down here. Right. And you realize that it's not for you, but you're going to continue to keep going because you're not sure if this path is going to actually lead you to where you want to be. So you feel stuck over here. You feel that you have to keep going over here. Keep trying, keep doing different things and not realizing that your talents and your passions have been hidden, have been put away this entire time. Now, chosen ones, you guys have a plethora of talents. All right. Think about the, all the things that you guys love to do when you were growing up. OK, 
TPP method, like I was telling you, talents, passion, purpose. Lean on your talents, okay? What are you guys talented at? Because your talents will help you tap into your passions. Usually what you're passionate about, you're gonna be talented at, all right? Think about singers, think about people that play the drums, think about people that like to write, like myself, people that like to, you know what I'm saying? Just the things that they love to do, they're passionate about it. And then somehow they end up having a talent behind it as well. And when you combine the TPP together, it helps you step into your purpose. The TPP method, my family, right? Now, what can we do to discover more of our talents? You know, what, what is something else that I love to do? Or what are some things that I don't even know that I love to do? And I need to explore more. I need to find out more, all right? This is what I want you guys to pay attention to because along your journey, remember how I tell you guys all the time, pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the signs because you can ask God for something, man, right? But if you don't pay attention to the sign, because you're always getting the answer, the answer is always going to show up. But if you are not paying attention to it, you're going to miss it and you will not receive it. All right. So you could ask God for something. You could ask for clarity. You could ask for vision. You could ask for guidance. You could ask for protection. You could ask for revelation. You could ask for family, for friends, for love, compassion. You could ask for all of this. All right. And the signs are going to come. All right. But it's up to you to go down the right path and not go down the wrong one. When you pay attention to the signs, you're going to be led to different things, opportunities, people that's going to let you know or at least give you some type of interest. It's going to spark something within you. And you're going to be like, man, I never really thought about doing this ever in my life. But now I'm kind of passionate about it. Now, actually, I'm pretty talented at it. I think I have a gift in this and I'm going to continue to keep on going. Perfect example is me in this YouTube channel, all right? I know I talk about this all the time, but it relates to my story, all right? And it will definitely resonate with what you guys are going through in your life and how you can discover some more of your talents and your passions, all right? Now, growing up, man, I've always had people tell me, yo, Kev, you look like you belong on stage. You look like you belong on stage. You should be doing something on stage, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, what? Nah, 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 nah. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not me. I'm going to be doing this. Now, I originally went to school for electrical engineering. I was going to be an engineer because I wanted to do animatronics. I used to want to do um, animatronics for, for movie sets. Like when I first watched Jurassic Park, man, I fell in love, family. I fell in love with Jurassic Park. That's one of my favorite movies. I love Jurassic Park. But um, just like the, the animation, like the animatronics behind it, I fell in love with doing stuff like that. Now, even though I... I, I love that because I liked building things, right? I still have that passion. I still love to build stuff. I build Legos with my son. I build the little 18 plus adult Lego sets. You know what I'm saying? I'll build things out of metal. Like I just love to do things like that. And I've always had that passion. I've always loved to do it. And still to this day, I have it, right? So that's what I thought I was gonna be doing because I went to school for electrical engineering and then I, was, I completely changed my mind. Everything just changed up. I was like, nah, I'm going into business, boom. Right. And now here I am today. But throughout that time, so many people kept telling me, yo, Kev, you look like you belong on stage. You belong on stage. And when I was saying no, now I'm starting to realize that here's my stage right now. Talking to you guys one on one, holding group coaching calls. You know what I'm saying? Talking to you guys, helping you elevate, create and motivate. Right. That's what it's all about. I'm here for you, my family. OK, so I'm here to put the passion. I'm here to put the motivation, the inspiration in your heart. All right. So that way you can pull those talents and passions out of the closet and live your best life. That's exactly what I want you guys to do. So go back and think about what are some things that people probably have told you a long time ago. Right. And it maybe have made you scratch your head and think for a second. And then you was like, nah, nah, that, that, nah, that's not possible. Right. You was like, nah, nah, y'all messing with me. But if it continues to pop up along your journey, if you continue to see signs about it, you got to pay attention to it because it's leading you towards a purpose. It's leading you towards maybe a talent, a new discovery of something that you're going to find that you truly, truly love. OK, you guys were not placed here for no reason. You're not going through what you're going through for no reason. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Everything happens in divine timing when it is supposed to happen. OK, so believe and trust the process and trust that you are in alignment with where you are supposed to be going in your life. If things are going wrong. Right. Remember, if things are going wrong, people are telling, you, no, you're not capable, all these different things. 
okay? Remember, it's just the, the universe is just a mirror, guys, all right? A lot of these people are talking about themselves because they don't wanna see you become successful. They don't want you to reach those talents. They don't want you to reach those passions. They don't want you to reach your goals, okay? And you're gonna discover a lot of people like that. And the enemy is going to use a plethora of people to do this and make sure that you do not get from A to B, all right? So what you need to do right now, I want you guys to just go sit, man. Go, go, look, you see how beautiful it is outside? Like, it, it, get outside in nature, all right? Ground, after this, I'm about to ground. Like, all this grass over here, I'm about to just go ground. I'm about to connect back with the earth. I'm about to raise my vibration. I'm about to continue to just live and just be happy and smile and continue to press through, just like I've been doing, man. So, um, that's exactly what I want you guys to do. So, if you can't ground, if you can't go sit outside in, in nature or anything like that, find you a quiet spot, okay? Close your eyes. Think about the things that you guys love to do. All right, I've had so many meetings, one-on-ones with, 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 with you guys, all right? And, and you've given me some of your ideas, but you didn't know how to turn it into a business and I helped you create that, all right? Or I helped at least give you another vision. Remember, sometimes people from the outside ear, an outside eye, an outside voice can help you see something that you possibly can't see in that vision, all right? So trust that other people are here to help you. Okay. Obviously, when you know that people are trying to pull you down and trying to break you down and they don't want to, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to offer any type of help. I'm telling you guys to come to me, right? Family, if you need help, you want to talk, book your session with me. We'll make it happen. All right. We are all in this together. And I just want everybody to be successful, man. I want everybody to eat. I want everybody to be well. I want everybody to be successful. I want you guys to be healthy. Don't forget to go to the gym and work out, drink your water. Make sure you guys are eating your fruits and vegetables. Man, just, just keep pressing, my family. Just keep pressing and lean on that TPP method. Your talents, your passions, and your purpose, all right? Because it's been put in the closet, all right? I've seen it happen with my mom, man. She loves to sing. She can sing, family. My mom can sing, right? Um, so music runs in our family, okay? So, but I seen it happen with her where she hung up her talent because of what somebody said or what something happened. My mom was on Apollo. She used to travel around New York and DC doing shows. Like she was, she was big time family, I'm trying to tell you. But my mom is too, she's too close to God, man. She wouldn't, she would not be able to, to go to Hollywood. Absolutely not. Because she's not selling her soul. She's not doing any of that. Nope, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not so even though it's her passion she could take it in another direction and do something else with it you know what i'm saying so when something doesn't look right and going down one path there's always going to be another path you got to remember there's going to be many opportunities in different directions and different ways that you can get to that destination over there so if one way fails that doesn't mean that's the end all right you try a different way sometimes you guys are going to be you have to remember this you're going to be tested if how bad you want it Right. If you want it bad enough, you're going to continue to keep going no matter how many times you failed. You have to keep going. All right. Because all it takes is one time for you to become successful. All it takes is one client. Right. To pay you that amount that's going to take you to the next level in your business. All it takes is one opportunity. All it takes is one person to say yes. So just because you receive five no's, 10 no's, that doesn't mean it's the end of the story for you guys. All right. Use your talents, use your passions to open doors for you and opportunities. And trust me, I hear, I'm telling you this right now, all right, as I close out this video, when you start to do this, yes, you're gonna receive the no's. Yes, people are gonna tell you to stop. They're, yes, people are gonna say, no, you're not capable, you can't do it, all these different things. When you're following that talent, when you're following that passion, God's testing you, all right? God is testing you to see how bad you truly, truly want it. It's not gonna be easy. Right, chosen ones, remember the path is not gonna be easy for you. So if you're going in the direction that you're supposed to go, that's gonna lead you to your purpose, all right? It's not going to be easy. You're gonna swim through you know, the shark infested waters. You're gonna step over uh, uh, the hot coals and the fire and dealing with a pit of snakes and vipers and, and, and all types of stuff, okay? But you have the willpower within you. That's why you guys were chosen by God to get it done. And that's why you guys have the talents and passions within you to get from A to be my family, all right? So listen, man, I don't know who needed to hear this video today. I hope this message resonated with somebody. If it did, you guys already know the deal, man. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right here for me. I hope you all have a beautiful week ahead. Um, continue to stay prayed up. Continue to tap into that talent. Tap into that passion. Pull it out the closet, okay? Stop leaving it over there. 
all right? You were given that talent. You were blessed with the talent. Why are you going to just hang it up and not use it? Okay? It's actually, it's like, it's, you're like spitting in God's face, man. If, if he has given you a talent and you're not even using it, you're not doing nothing with it because you are afraid of what other people are going to say. You're afraid what they have done to you. Nah, man, you guys go out here and live your best life. Don't worry about what other people are saying about you. Okay? Because they're not doing it. <laughs> they're not doing it. They just don't want to see you make it. All right. So live in your own lane. Continue to stay in it. All right. Keep pressing through and you guys are going to see some amazing things happen for you guys. All right, man. So if you guys want to talk, come on over to the website. It's going to pop up on your screen. www.speakatseafilla.com. It feels absolutely amazing outside. Make sure you guys go outside and get your nature, ground, drink your water, exercise like I was saying, and continue to just be great, guys. All right. So also, like I said, one of my talents is writing. If you guys would love to check out my work, my book is called Poetry Is Me. You can find it on Amazon. It's on barnesandnoble.com. Um, it's on uh, booksamillion.com. I'm in the Northern Virginia. I'm out here in the Northern Virginia area. Y'all. I'm in the DMV. So if you live in the DMV, um, you can also find that book in a few libraries out here too. Um, I know it's in the Loudoun County Library. So you guys can check that out. So. Uh, it's also in the Fairfax County Library as well. So um, I just want to say that I appreciate all the love and support that I continue to see from you all. Uh, I read through your comments. I know I can't get to all of them, but um, I'm trying to. I, I'm trying to get to as many as I can, but I'm reading your comments, man. I just want to say you guys continue to just keep being the best version of yourselves. Keep working hard. All right. You guys are going to see some amazing opportunities and things show up in your life. And let's talk, guys. And let's keep pressing through family. All right. So you guys have a beautiful day today and I'll see y'all soon in the next video. Peace.